Testicle one, testicle two, one, two, three, testicles. Hello, ladies and gentle fish. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 66. Woo! Not much of an accomp. Episode 100, gonna be great, though. I got, oh, frickety frackety frungities. Ah, I, okay, I just spent a little while moving this backdrop and the California reefer to a better position. And now, the fucking California reefer bear's head is cut off. Okay, get down for a sec, Olive. I gots to do some adjusting. I'll do it live. We'll do it live! Okay, let's see what I can... See what I can finagle here. Okay, go up. I do not have a tripod or a gorilla pod, like I said before. This would be much e- Ah, there we go. That's not too bad. And you can still see. Ah, uh, look. I just moved it back a little bit. New addition. The green little table over here. And I got the backwards picture. If you want to figure out what that picture is, comment in the comments below. And if you get it right, I can't remember what I said I'd do, but I don't know. And that's what we'll be smoking on today. You see back there? We'll keep we'll save that for later. Save it for later. We're not there yet. I noticed the last episode I wasn't quite focused in. Pretty well the whole goddamn episode. Episode. So this time I put my uh my special glasses on and this time. I'm making sure that I'm at least the majority focused in, you know. I move around a lot. I go far and I go forward, so it's hard to just constantly... Unless I had someone doing it. I can flink around autofocus, but it doesn't do anything. I think it's broken. You know? And when it's autofocusing, how does it know what the subject is? Maybe whatever's moving. I'm not a professional photographer, photographer. What do you think? Jeez. I'm not a prote- professional photographer. I love my long locks. I'm going to let them grow and grow until the sun don't shine. I'm wearing a lovely, lovely shirt. One of my faves. It's got a bunch of cameras all over it. I got another one with Vespas all over it as well. I've got quite the Vespa shirt story. I have a few, actually. Uh, I used to live in British Columbia. Columbia. And uh, when I was leaving British Columbia and going back to Ablerda, which is where I'm still at, um, a friend came to pick me up from Alberta and we were like you know what since we're here let's make a fucking time out of it so took like a well week or so and did a bunch of shit anyway we went I was only how old was I I think I was 18 Uh, yeah I must have been 18 but you see in Alberta you can drink and you can go to clubs and parties Uh, the legal drinking age is 18 in Alberta okay but in uh, everywhere else in Canada, it's 19. So we would go. We, were, we went to this club. I had my Vespa shirt on all day. I was wearing it all day. <laughs> I was wearing it all week, pretty well. And then we went to the the club. We were gonna go to a club with, you know, and the friend who came and picked me up. He was much older than me. Not much older, but a few years older. Uh, we went clubbing. We got into one club for a few seconds. How the hell did it go? No. Okay, yeah. We we got into one club. Uh, I don't know how I got in, though. Because I showed my ID, and obviously I got in somehow. But then I remember getting a drink, and then just as I was about to slurp on the straw... <laughs> The fucking security guard came and kicked kicked us out because I wasn't 
I wasn't 19 yet, so we went across the street, and they didn't let us in either, because the people on the other side called that nightclub, and they're like, don't let these people in, there's a guy with the Vespa shirt on the loose, don't let the Vespa idiot in. <laughs> Oh, that was, I did not, I ruined that story because I couldn't remember it. Olive! You always gotta be up here. Hey, you can't hit that. It makes a loud racket. He has no idea. You can't even see him. Do you want to see him? Here, you gotta show yourself on camera. He's gonna squirm. Squirm me, boy. Look, it's Olive. Oh, he's squirming. Stop it, Olive. Just take it. See? It's an olive. He's, he's camera shy. B-I-G-T-I-M-E. If you know what I am. -E -A -N. Mian. Mianne. Menes. Um, so on the card for today, I've got... Uh, oh, it's quite the card. Wait till you see this one. Run -da -run -dun -dun -dun. Nothing. Not a single thing. Oh, look at this. What? I'm going through these cards here, the unused ones, and there's fucking shit written on them. See how long can go without shaving? Well, I can't do that. Because of my G O B. My J O B, I mean. System equals headphones. System equals headphones. What could that mean? See? Two cards, just a sentence on each. Oh, Ev, get down, please. Go to your kennel. Go in there. You like it in there. Go in your kennel. Go in. Go in your kennel. Go in. There you go. Now lay down. Boppity poopy. Good poopy. Okay. So these cards are not going to be able to be used. Well, I could use them, but... Shit, why would I? There's shit on them. I don't want fucking used... It's like, you know, no one would use a used tampon. It's the exact same thing. Pocket watch. Let's take a look-see. Last time I said, uh... What did I say? I set the time and I was like, next podcast, we'll see if it's still correct. So my computer says it's 11.41 a.m. What? Why am I doing a podcast this early? It's Sunday. I don't know. You would think you would wait till the sun went down a bit. No, fuck it. I don't care. I felt like it. Let's see. Is it 11.41? <gasps> oh my gosh, it still works. Would you like to look? It's probably going to be fucking blurry, so let me focus. Focus. There we go, look. You like that? You fucking like that? Crisper, crisper. Let me get this perfect so that I don't fucking make people go squeamish. There's nothing worse than watching a video where the subject is out of focus the entire time. There's nothing worse than it, let me tell you there, by Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Ricky! Oh yeah, that's satisfying, isn't it? Why would I do a podcast if I don't have anything to talk about? Because you take risks, that's why. You take fucking risks, buddy. You fucking take risks. You wanna fucking die? I'll fucking kill you, buddy. You know? Chris Delilah does it, freestyle. You know? Chris Dahlia? Delanlan? I know his name. But I choose not to say it correctly. Cause I just feel like fucking around, that's why. I know I'm not a close friend of his. I know I can't joke around like Theo Vaughn does with his name. Calls him Chris Dahlia and shit. Chris Dandelion. God damn it, I'm stuck in here now. Got it. Got him! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby, give me those. Give it a scratch, okay. Here we go. Should we have the first hoot of the day? Get the mind flowing? Maybe we'll think of something to talk about. We'll think of something to talk about. It's Taco Tuesday. 
Uh, let's see what we're smoking. I got some high grade Banunga. Let's take a look, see. Whoop a da boop boop boo. So that's this packaging. One gram of uh black blackberry. Too close. That's what she's called right there. Look at that. You like that? That's about as far as I can go because my camera is not a macro type lens. Unfortunately, I don't know why. Um, it's just the lens that came with it. That's why. If I had a better one, I'd use it. Okay? I don't have the money. Okay? I bought this camera when I had the money. But I do not have the money anymore, you understand? I do not. I do not have the money. I keep so paranoid that I'm gonna get it too out of focus again. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it Olive. Um, dum, dum, dum. Can you see what's going on? Okay, good. Good. Very good, right? Very nice. I already smoked some of this. Very, very sticky. And I usually shatter things. At least come in a nice uh, solid state when it's not too warm. But this stuff is just like sticky the time so I can't even transfer it into a little gummy which I would like to and my torch is broke so I gotta use a lighter to light this bad boy but I'm just gonna heat up my tool first heat my tool cuz I'm a tool am I right party in the USA it's Miley Cyrus Damn, there's a lot of fur on this thing. Oh, gross. When the light changes to a blue color, you can really notice the fur on this green screen tablecloth I got going on. Oh, this shit's hard to pick up. It's hard to pick up, buddies. Oh, I just got a fucking fantastical idea. I gotta get another camera. Which, you know, I want to just get like a GoPro. A nice GoPro that can use for little side shots like this. I could have the GoPro right here on a little gorilla pod. Or, or, or I could set up on one of these tripods. Use the gorilla pod for that camera. Oh, that fart felt good. Have it, you know have an angle over here so you can see me digging in the dabbage. Wouldn't that be cool? Fuck, that'd be cool. Party in the USA! I'm in Denver, Colorado right now. Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. I'm in Denver. You're in Colorado. Okay, I got a nice, it's a nice juicy size dab, it's not too big, it's not too little, but it's uh, certainly not the size that, you know, a lot of these guys on, on the line would do, on the interwebs, they do some big fucking fat snakes, yeah, I'm not into that, I don't want to get that funked up, okay, so here we go. Blink of the light. Oh. Got him. One, two, three, make a bitch go. Woo! Fire in the woods. It's fire in the woods. But where's the fire in my soul? Oh, my dick is itchy. I've got an itchy dick. I've got an itchy dick. I've got an itchy dick. Dick, dick, dicky, dick. Ooh. Okay, here we go. 
Got the Vodka Nato. Uh, Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what style of bong this is. Come on. Oh, we got four minutes left. Right. Remember, we got 20 minute intervals. Okay. Cheers. <coughs> it was bigger than I thought. <coughs> Woo! Oh, ah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah! Yeah! I know. <coughs> now that makes it look like I just took something crazy. <laughs> that looks like I took some, you know, some, some, I don't know, crazy meth fentanyl type shit you know when I react that way ugh, I'm just trying to hold the cough back because <coughs> it's loud and it's annoying but that other shit's annoying too but I also do it because it scratches my throat if you go that way Scratches your throat. Um, there's no other way to scratch it. I don't know. Try it out. <clears throat> now you can't see it, but along this wall, I've got all these foamies. <clears throat> oh, I got phlegm in my throat. I got red ones and black ones. So, <coughs> gosh, so I can, uh, it's kind of echoey in here, so I want to dampen them sounds. I got them all up on the wall. I'm going to put some back there, maybe over there. I don't know. I got, I got a bunch more. Well, I don't have that many more. I would really like if I could find some purple and green ones. I'm sure they're out there. They got to be. Because I've seen blue. So far, I've only seen blue, black, and red. <coughs> Holy moly. Scrambled eggs and bologna. Oh, my giggity aunt. Me trout. It's on fire. Whoo. It's like I just ate some hot sauce. Basically did there's only 51 seconds We're coming to the end of our first 20 minute segment. I hope you've enjoyed the first third of the dynamite gizmo podcast Stay tuned There's still 35 seconds left Bing bong bing bong bing bong bing 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 <clears throat> Someday I'll find something cool to stick in between these 20 minute segments. And if you don't know why we gotta do little 20 minute segments, watch episode 65. And I'll explain why. Because I don't wanna explain it again. But here we go. Four, three, two, one. I'm a Mexican jumping bean. But I don't like my own spleen. <laughs> Welcome back. Even though it's only been one second for you, it's been half an hour for me. Because I went and I got some lunch. And I took a shit. <laughs> and then I let the olive out. No, I didn't do any of that. It was only about a second for me as well. 
made it look like it was longer, but twasn't. <coughs> this is what I do when I can't think of what to say. But don't tell people that. Why do you keep telling people? Because then they know you don't know what you're doing. And then they say, oh, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Let's get out of here. He's just playing with his hair. He keeps looking in the viewfinder like a goddamn noob. I know. What a, what a pathetic excuse for a YouTuber. <laughs> what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Let me think. Got a blast. Got a brain blast. Jimmy Neutron. Y'all remember Jimmy Neutron? Or are you too old or are you too young? Jimmy Neutron, he was the shit. He was really the shit. <clears throat> I'll show you because I can kind of make my hair the Jimmy Neutron hair. Well, it's not greasy enough. Although it is pretty greasy, I will say. Almost. That is unicorn. Look at that. Got a blast. Oh, now that's fucking... Is that it? Whoa. Who would have thunk I could ever do this with my greasy hair? I didn't think it would stick up like that. That's staying. Look how long it is. <laughs> wow. Cheese! Yeah. That's what I should have did for my passport photo. They'd let you, right? If your hair is like this, what are they going to do? Say, put your hair down? No. They'll just say, don't smile. <laughs> right when they take the picture, you stick your tongue out. How's that? <laughs> and then they say, hey, we'll do it again. And you go, okay. I'm ready. Yeah. And every time, and then they get so sick of it, they just say, fuck it. And they print it out for you, but then you bring it to the government place, and they're like, yeah, we can't do anything with this. Are you crazy? You gotta put that tongue back in your mouth. And then you say, you sweet talk the, the fat girl behind the counter, and you, you let her know, hey, this is my passport. This is my country. You can't tell me that I can't stick my tongue out in a picture of myself in my own book, in my own country. What the f*** you think this is? And then you grab her titty. Squeeze it. And then she's all for it. She prints it out for you because you convinced her. You take that passport to the airport because your family's going on a trip to Guatemala. You get there, and guess what? The airport opens up your passport in your own country first off, because you got you got to show your passport in that country before you leave, right? Just a second, I got some thoughts. Go It's hard to write and talk at the same time. Anyway, so you show the passport to the lady or man. Or whatever <laughs> at the airport, at the Canada airport, at the Denver airport, wherever you are, who knows? Um, and and he or she or whatever opens it up, and it's a shock. First time ever they're ever gonna see something like that. Passport with a tongue out. They say, "Is this real?" And you say, yeah, it's fucking me. You know, you guys talk for a bit. And they go, okay, let's go to the back. And you go to the back. They, they put the glove on. And then they uh, stick the finger up there. They do all the stuff. <clears throat> they scan the passport. They do a background check. They look through numbers and crunch stuff. And they determine the passport is actually real. They just can't figure out how you got away with the tongue. But they let you through anyway. 
ba ba boo you feel great. You're like, I did it. It's success. I got through the goddamn airport with my tongue out in my passport photo. Has that ever been done? Probably not. You get to Guatemala, you have a good time. It's time to go back home. Uh-oh. These Guatemalans don't like the look of your passport. And they don't have the technology or the intelligence to do background stuff and figure out if this is a real passport. They just automatically think this is fake. And they take you from your family and they put you in jail. In the Guatemalan jail. And they beat you and they feed you slop. And now it's a rescue mission to get you back to your home country. What are you gonna do now? And then you start thinking, shit, I shouldn't have messed with that fat lady behind the counter. Or even the photographer. Why did I even bother doing all this just to see if I could do it? And now look where it's gotten me. That's what you'll be thinking. So is it really worth it to stick your tongue out for the passport photo? No. That's that's my conclusion. Uh, <laughs> so don't do it. Which we already know. It was a great story. Great story. Great. Tell us something we already know. Why don't you? Okay. I did. Why do funeral homes give out pens with their funeral home information on the pen? And it's got the little rubber thing on the on the tippity doodah so that you can use it on your smart devices like your phone or your iPad or whatever kind of tablet you have. Why do funeral homes do that? These tips don't work anyway. You know what a funeral home should only worry about? dead people I don't want your your gross pen even though I took it <sighs> like a phlegm in my throat at least there's no goddamn smell of burnt food today gosh that was horrible good times am I right Jimothy there's a Jimothy out there yeah, 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 you ramble and you rant and you rave, but you still can't think of anything to talk about, huh? I see what you're doing. You're just uh, saying words. Saying words and you're looking around and you're stalling. Because you, you can't think of anything and you still can't think of anything. At this moment, no matter how much you stall and you look around, you still can't come up with anything to talk about. Because my life isn't interesting. <laughs> it isn't, though. It really isn't. And when your life's not interesting, you don't have stories. And when you don't have stories, no one wants to listen to you. Unless you're a good salesman. Make a, make a good speech. It could sound... Like you're talking about something, but you're actually just saying a bunch of baloney. But people will still listen. Is that worth it? No, because you're deceiving. But is that what I'm doing right now? I don't know. It's a complex thought for a complex world. And it's too early for a podcast. I know it's, it's now 12. Which uh, is not early. It's literally lunchtime. But what I mean is it's always nicer to do a podcast when the sun is like just about to go down or already down. I don't know. Everything's better in the dark when it comes to having fun, if you know what I mean. I don't mean building a house is easier in the dark. I mean having fun. Fun. Having fun. Doing fun stuff is better in the dark. You know what I mean? Like having sex. <laughs> yeah. Having sex is better in the dark. What else? 
What else is better than the dark? Doing a podcast. In the dark. You can get your drink on. And you can fly through the sky. Like a bird with no wings. <laughs> I think I'm am I getting sick or is this just from that spicy dab giving me phlegm in my throat and my nose. Ooh. Swallowed it. But it's still there. Still feel it. I could hork it up, but I hate doing that. It makes me gag. And then I puke. And I don't need to puke right now. I don't need that shit right now. Hey. Cool, what else? I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I'll spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can touch the sky. Ha ha! Or I think about it every night and day. I just parted and I have to say, yeah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. I love Hanukkah. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. I love Hanukkah. From dear old Jim Basket, I love Hanukkah. On the corner of Nantucket, I say to thee, Jeremiah M. McPassage, I pray for G. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, where art thou, Hanukkah? Fourth, I want the present. Of nine to Fort Passage. From Guat to Guar, I say to thee, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, where art thou, Hanukkah? Great. Great podcast. Great stuff you got. Why don't you prepare next time, huh? Why don't you shut your mouth? Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bang, boom. I smell something that smells like poo with a ding da dung in a riggy diggy dung. This isn't a podcast, this is dumb. This old man, he drink scotch. He put pumpkins in my crotch. With a bing bang boom and a little tinsel broom. I said hi and shook, took my shrooms. My song, can't take it, can't steal it. It's mine and it's over. This is over. This podcast is over, this episode. Not the whole thing, just the, just this episode. I'm not pulling a Jeremy Clarkson and, and crying. But of course I haven't been doing this for as long as he has, you know. Maybe someday I'll get to that level, but not not right now. So, 
as for as for this episode, we are done, okay? But next episode, next episode, holy schmoly's, we got some good stuffs planned. Let me tell you. So tune in. I'll have a Vespa shirt on. Things are gonna get frickin' wild. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Missions, huh? I thought I said, take the trash out.